For those of you that have been following the channel the last couple of months, you guys know that I recently switched file managers. I switched from the Ranger file manager to VIFM. Both are terminal based file managers and I really liked VIFM because of the dual pane nature of it but also because it's so Vim centric. I'm a Vim user, VIFM, it just makes sense. It's just a very powerful terminal based file manager. But the one thing I didn't like about VIFM, the one thing that was kind of lacking compared to Ranger is Ranger, it was very easy to get image previews up and working in Ranger using the W3M image previews. Uh, I was never really able to get VIFM working with W3M image previews except in one terminal emulator. I was able to get it working if I used Xterm, which I don't mind using Xterm. But, you know, I really wanted a solution that would work in all terminal emulators, so people kept recommending me uh, UberZug. UberZug is a alternative to W3 image displays. UberZug is a Python program, so today I came across a Reddit post that explained how to get the UberZug image previews working in VIFM. So uh, I was sitting here drinking my coffee and eating a, a chocolate Pop-Tart, and I played around for about five minutes and I was able to get the image previews working, so let me show you. So first things first, let's take a look at UberZug's GitHub page here. So this is the Surf web browser, Suckless's Surf web browser, and the font's kind of small. Let me zoom in so I can see it and you guys can see it. So you can go grab the source code for UberZug over on GitHub. Uh, UberZug is a command line utility which allows to draw images on terminals by using child windows. Uh, again, basically W3M image display replacement written in Python. Uh, if I scroll to the bottom of the page, uh, you get a lot of information how to use UberZug and there are various example scripts. For example, this one here, bash library. You know what I copied this just to play around with? Let me open a terminal and show you how this particular example bash library worked for me. So let me open up the ST terminal here. And I'm going to CD into a directory I have on my system called scripts. And uh, UberZug example was the one. So let me vim UberZug example here. And you will see it's basically a, an exact copy of what was on the UberZug GitHub page. The only difference is where it was asking for locations of images, paths to image names. I actually put pass to actual images that are on my system. So let me quit out of this and then I'm going to run this example script. And you will see, you know, it basically displays a couple of images in my terminal. <laughs> that is all the script does. They are wallpaper, so they're big images like 1920 by 1080 <laughs> images. So that is why it's taking up the whole screen instead of showing you, you know, three, four different images side by side. But the point of that is UberZug works. It displays images, actually displays very nice, clean images in the terminal. I, I think the images might look a little better than the W3 image display images. That's subjective, but UberZug, it works. For a better example of just how to use UberZug to display a single image in a terminal emulator, I copied this uh, bash script over from Luke Smith. Luke Smith did a video a uh, month or two back on UberZug. He was also trying to get UberZug to work with image displays and VIFM, and he wasn't having much luck with it. I never had much luck with it. Searching the web, I couldn't find anybody that really used UberZug with VIFM that had a script that they wanted to share. <laughs> Most people was like, oh, it's simple. It's bash and Python. Just make a script. Well, if it's so simple, why hasn't anybody <laughs> really done it? I couldn't find anybody that successfully got VIFM and UberZug image previews working. But anyway, this uh, example script was written by, by Luke Smith during one of his videos that I watched on UberZug. And how this script work is, well, let me quit out of it, is you give, well, first of all, let me run the script. I called the script ub.sh. And then I need the path to some image. So I'm going to do uh, backgrounds and then one of my wallpapers that I know is on the system. Uh, tab complete. Anyway, and then you have to give it uh, four variables here. You have to give it uh, basically x and y coordinates and then a size. I'm going to 
do size 50 by 50, and that's 50 by 50 uh, character sizes in the terminal. And there you go. That is that particular image with those coordinates. 0, 0 is in you know, the top left uh, corner of the terminal, and 50 by 50 is the size. So that is an Uberzug image preview right there. And now I have them, by the way, if I go to my backgrounds directory here, and turn on image previews. This is the Uberzug image previews in VIFM. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> this is not bad. Uh, kind of, it does kind of distort the images because I have it set to where it fills the entire right hand pane or whatever pane I'm using to to uh, preview the images. With, so it stretches the image. Most of these images are 1920 by 1080, but you can see they're a little distorted because it, it, it tries to fit them into the entire pane of VIFM. Let me open up another terminal and maybe another terminal and you can see that it keeps adjusting and it resizes them perfectly. No distortion, nothing ever gets kind of wonky. With uh, Ranger and especially W3M image previews in Ranger, sometimes you get got weird things with the images. You got a uh, artifacts that appeared in random places on the screen covering some of the file names and you know the image would be out of place sometimes you never have any of that with Uberzug it just works really almost flawlessly I say almost flawlessly is because the very first time you open an image preview in Uberzug you will see a flicker it flickers uh, for like half a second you'll see two or three quick flickers, you know, black flicker, and then it'll finally load the image. But once that first one loads, the next ones, they just load, right? It's, it's very, very neat. Now, of course, how did I get a script that finally gave me the image previews in VIFM? Well, I found it on Reddit. So I was uh, reading r slash Linux uh, late last night. And I came across uh, a really a release announcement. Uberzug version 18.1.0 was released. I thought, well, that's cool. You know, I, I played around with Uberzug a month or two back. I installed it. You know, I, I was able to just, you know, get some simple images to display in the terminal, but I never really was able to figure out a way to use it with something like VIFM. Anyway, so the guy that posted this is actually the creator of Uberzug. And uh, it's not a very lengthy thread, uh, Uberzug, I guess not that many people are interested in it. Uh, but one of the people that posted in this is, Thanks for sharing your work. I hope to use this with VIFM. And then the creator said, Hey, I just quickly wrote this script so you can use this with VIFM. And he gave the code <laughs> to add in my VIFM RC file, which is just this little five lines here. And then he gave a code, a, a little bash script for how to start VIFM with Uberzug support. So he, he gave he gave the code away right there. You know, it was all of us, you know, me and Luke Smith and everybody else that uses VIFM that were struggling to get Uberzug working with this. Uh, I'm going to link to this Reddit. <laughs> but if you, you don't have to have the Reddit post to get this code, you can also get the code from my GitLab page because I've got these scripts. I've already pushed them to my GitLab page. So let's check out the code and the files that I had to change to get the previews working. So first of all, let me cd into my dot config folder, dot config slash vifm slash, and then I created a scripts directory in vifm. And in this directory, you'll see I have four scripts. The first two, imgc, imgt, they're bash scripts that get me w3m image previews working in vifm. But that only works in xterm, but it does work if you happen to use xterm. So I have those two scripts also on my GitLab page if you want these two. But again, it only works with xterm for w3m image previews. And then, of course, I have vifm image. So let me open this in vim, vifm. IMG and this code here is what actually gets you the image previews in VIFM. So let me quit that. The next script you see is VIFM run as the name suggests. This is actually how you need to launch VIFM with Uberzug support to get those image previews working. So you no longer launch VIFM by typing VIFM. You need to actually execute this script to launch VIFM. One other thing you do have to change, let me cd 
into the parent directory. My vifmrc file, we do need to make some minor changes to it. So somewhere in this file, we have some information about image viewer or file viewer right here, file viewer, and then various image formats such as JPEG and ping. And these three lines right below it, vifm image, that's that vifm image script. That is what basically gives you those previews. So VIFM, now that I've got the image previews working, is practically perfect. I love it. It's, it's the best file manager I've ever used. Uh, uses, you know, a lot of the same Vim key bindings you're used to. Working in Vim, a very neat little file manager. Image previews just work perfectly. Other than the Uberzug image previews, if I actually wanted to launch these in a real image viewer, I could, you know, hit enter or I could do L on the keypad here and open it in the image file viewer of my choice. Before I was using IMV, I could have used things like FEH or uh, Kaka View. Uh, right now though, I'm testing out X SXIV, what a horrible name, X, X, I'm 64, I'm just gonna call it 64, even though I doubt that's what it stands for, or 64, or, anyway, they need to change the name, but anyway. <laughs> That's that. Uh, for those of you that want the code for this, by the way, let me open up the Surf Web Browser here again. So if I go to my GitLab page here, if you go to gitlab.com slash dwt1, go to my dot .files directory, and in my dot .files directory, you'll find the dot .config, vifm, scripts, and in that directory, all you need to do is copy these two, VIFM image, VIFM run, and then when you launch VIFM, you launch it by executing the script, VIFM run. Before I go, this show was made possible by Ansem, Carlos, Chris, Dylan, Douglas, Leo, Rob, Robert, Tony. I think I said those names out of order, but you know what? I'm not even through my first cup of coffee this morning. <laughs> These guys, though, they're the producers of the show, my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without them, this content wouldn't be possible. The show's also brought to you by all those fine ladies and gentlemen, all those names you see on the screen that help support my work over on Patreon. If you'd like to consider supporting me, please do so. You'll find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.